<laughs> the cravings are horrendous. <sighs> Buy every single cake that they have under the counter, like it's real. But if I start, I won't stop, and then it'll take me till the middle of next week to get rid of inflammation and actually feel normal again. So, um, yeah, that looks interesting. Yes. How are we feeling now? Better. There is a slight improvement, I must admit. You know, there's so many addictions that people have. Would you give one glass of wine or one shot to an alcoholic? No, obviously. Why? What would happen? You are what you do on a daily basis over and over again. Remember that. Remember that. Welcome to my channel. I'm Fern, proud mum of two and wife to husband Ryan. We took a huge risk leaving our hometown in the north of England to the stunning French Riviera. It has been one crazy journey with some super challenging times, but the highs definitely make it all worthwhile and we've discovered parts of ourselves we never knew existed. Subscribe and join me for a peek into my daily life living on the French Riviera. Yeah. It's like a sluggish kind of feeling day, even though the, su the weather's been so good to us this week, honestly, it's been absolutely beautiful. Um, we've just dropped Nancy off at a party, like a laser quest party. It's actually her boyfriend's party. Yes. Yes. Um, so that was cute watching her get out the car and like dead eye was saying like, go, go. Go. go get out of here get so now. embarrassed <laughs> we'll be picking her up in a few hours and we're just forcing ourselves to get out and do a little bit of exercise because we're feeling meh absolutely meh completely honest it's very very close to my time of the month and sometimes it's a breeze and then sometimes it's a real like horrendous climb up to it um hormonal imbalance scatty head brain just flitting between one thing to the another like the, the cravings <laughs> the cravings are horrendous i'm looking at every single boulangerie that we pass just wanting to go in there and buy every single cake that they have under the counter like it's real but if i start i won't stop and then it'll take me till the middle of next week to get rid of inflammation and actually feel normal again so battling the cravings cannot do that but that's honest update feelings how i am today yeah so welcome everybody brand new video how exciting we're in the village of Mujan. Mansatu, actually. Oh, we're in Mansatu now. Mm -hmm. So whilst we're here, obviously just dropped Nancy off at the party. We're gonna find somewhere to get out for a bit of a walk and a wonder here. A bit of a leg stretcher. Yeah. We've got the boy in the back. Say hi. Hi. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Um. Yeah. I think that's all you can do when you're feeling like me is just force yourself away from the cupboards, get outside, fresh air, sunlight, move your body and get on with it. Easier said than done. But I mean I don't even eat breakfast, I never eat breakfast and this morning I was just ravenous so I had some pineapple, Oh, I actually had because I bought a fresh pineapple and I made the kids some pineapple oh. and there was some left over so I was like oh I'm going to have some of that and I sprinkled some dried coconut onto the pineapple like designated coconut. Desiccated my Desiccated. darling. Desiccated. <laughs> <laughs> that was my designated coconut for the day. <laughs> oh. What's it called? <laughs> designated coconut. I'm not even going to edit that out. I'm going to show you how dumb I really am. When it comes to some things, yes. 
she is a little bit daft. I have to cut a lot of my dumbness out of the vlogs because I just can't be bothered with you attacking me. But I am really, honestly, I've been keeping a secret all this time. Some of you might have seen it already, but I am super dumb. Only with some <laughs> things. <laughs> anyway. She's very smart, everyone. In some ways. But she's, um... Like... I would say I'm a really good judge of character and I have a good sense of a vibe in situations and lots of other things but then lots of things I'm like seriously dumb so anyway I had my um, designated coconut on pineapple this morning and oh it just hit the spot it was like pina colada you know and I just like sat outside in the garden with the morning sunshine and oh it was just gorgeous so there's a tip put some uh, designated coconut on your pineapple and it's just another experience and then i had lunch and it was leftovers from our family platter last night so i had a bit of steak a bit of chicken and some tomatoes and bits and bobs like that and i'm still thinking about food this is a bumpy road, honey. Yeah, it's good for intake. We're drama. going down the back streets to a location that we've not been before. It's an exploration. 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 Yeah. Do you like it when it's my time of the month? Uh, yeah. How would you describe it? Um. Dramatic. Dramatic. <laughs> I get very irritated. Irritated. Yesterday she got irritated at me many times for nothing. <laughs> like what? I don't know. Can't remember Just really. Just faces that he pulls and stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's like me when someone eats in my ear. I oh. want to Ryan's pull got that the real tongue thing. out. <laughs> He's got that real thing <laughs> where you can't stand to hear people masticating. Chew in and things like that. So if we're having meals together, you know, it has to have some kind of background noise, a fan or the TV or music, something. So it just drives him up the wall. Oh, I man. don't mind the sound of people chomping. My sister and my mum are the same. Really? Yeah, we're always in the family. Do you know the actual term for it? Real term for it? Yeah. Um, no. No? What is it? I don't know, but I think there is one. Um, Masticating phobia. <laughs> Something. Masticatia. Um. So yeah, guys. Do you know how I'm feeling, ladies? Can you relate to these feelings? So that's what we're doing on this fine sunny Sunday. Spring's afternoon. in the air, though, eh? Spring is definitely in the air. I'm Spring is it. in the air. We're getting outdoors. So do you want to come along? I've we'll never been on down this road before. No. Oh, I have actually. When it was COVID, and I used to go discovering. Oh. Yeah. So I've discovered down here before. I've ran down here before. Back in the day. Well, I hope it's not a full-on mountain hike, con. No, I think I've got that kind of energy today. It's meant to be like a, like a riverside trek, you know, and they're not normally mountain hikes. A on. trek. <laughs> Sorry, wrong word. Stroll. Oh, stroll, that's better. Riverside stroll. Or a riverside gander. Gander? Yeah. Trot. <laughs> a riverside trot. I feel more like a waddle today. Oh, a waddle. Yes. We're on a positive tour. Hey, LA. That's where we're going soon. Where are we? There's a little bench spot here and a triangle. What is this? Jesus. Oh, look at that. My favourite type of walks. Brown and green. Not. I've said it before, I much prefer to walk in villages, loads of stuff to look at, people's gardens, people's houses, keep my brain occupied and I do get very bored on nature walks but 
Ryan's favourite is like this type, like brown and green and mountains. And Away stuff. from people. Huh? So he always naturally brings me on these type of walks where I can only think about every single stir. Help me. <laughs> recent favourite jacket on today which I shared in my last vlog look at the sleeves just even look at the little detailing the little pucker on the sleeves the little pucker the, the little pucker and yeah I just love it it's light summery yeah I'm gonna have it for a long time I'll leave it linked down below it's perfect the perfect summer jacket <laughs> Darling, look at our little adventurer up there. Isn't he delightful? Look at him growing up, flourishing, thriving. Love him, dear. Oh, yes. Isn't he lovely? Oh, God. We can't be bothered today. <laughs> and I'm full of beans all the time, but today. Maybe it's the pollen in the air or no, something. No, I'll tell you what it is. It's half a bottle of red wine that I had last night. I didn't. And I hadn't drunk I since... That. I'd not had a drink for 37 days until he last night. tracks it. He's got a habit tracker. Habit tracker. Track your habits. Oh, my gosh. You are what you do on a daily basis over and over again. Remember that. He just can never keep away from a mountain. Ever. Oh, gosh. <laughs> You be careful up there, my boy. What? This is the fade out, the last bit of mimosa. We've just had mimosa season on the Riviera. They do like festivals and everything because it's such a vibrant flower, which literally takes over when it's in full bloom. The only thing is like, if you suffer from hay fever, it's, it's really bad in mimosa season. Nancy was quite bad. I know other people where it was horrendous. Like, yeah, it's full on, but wow, it's really, really like breathtaking when you see it all out in full bloom. It's like masses of bright, vibrant yellow coverings. Flowers. This is spring, look. Spring. Spring is coming. Positive time. So photogenic. Earthing. 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 It's a real life thing. Recharging. Recharge from the earth. So we're at the uh, turnaround point. Yes. How are we feeling now? Better. There is a slight improvement, I must admit. No, we've, we've done quite far actually. We have done 6,000 steps. Just on this walk? Mm. Mm. Probably 5,000. Well, that's a bonus, isn't it? That's it is. definitely an improvement. We should never That's go. roughly... Seth. Seth, Four darling. kilometres. Seth, oh, annoying. darling. Oh, well done, we've gone up. Yeah, you don't do it earth. Touch do some the earthing, darling. Seth, let's get <laughs> recharged. Do mm. some earthing. I'd, I'd rather not. Come on. Let's balance out your blood. Come on, then. Recharge. Back to the motor. She's done it. I had to fall on my bottom. She did. It wasn't nice. This Trainers is nature. Didn't have much grip and it was downhill. And I felt the stones go under my trainer. And it was a it was a fall on my bottom and it really hurt. And I screamed out so loud. <laughs> And uh, Seth ran to my rescue, didn't he, Seth? Yeah, yeah. He was so concerned. Not. Thanks, darling. No problem. Thank you. It didn't all like it hurt that much. It really hurt. hurt. Thank you, though. Thanks for your concern. Well like, done, anyway, like darling. Well done. It's like in a cartoon, mate. Right? That's what it looked like. Well done. That was uh, <laughs> seven thousand step walk. Okay. Well done. Now I think after that... You can eat some cake. Now I think I need to go to the boulangerie. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a nice party? Good party? Bon? Your papa ratty. We're home. I'm into my... Straight into one of my best purchases ever. This Primark Snuddy. Which is like a big 
cuddle and we'd actually run out of tea bags so Ryan picked up some of my favourite I love Earl Grey and I love Lady Grey um, so guess what I'm going to have a hug in a mug in my snoddy a cup of tea I'm going to put a little tiny bit of sugar in there and proper milk and yeah I don't usually drink tea because I avoid normal cow's milk and I only really like tea with proper milk in um, in Guild's world we've got proper milk too the boy is starving Oh, is he starving? Okay, so it's like 20 to 6. We've just picked Nancy up from her party and got back. Seth's really, really hungry. Now, usually around 4 pm, they have like the snack time goûte, which is like sweets, whatever they want, really. Uh, and he's missed it because we've been out. So now he's got back. He's like, Can I have my snack? But I'm like, Well, it's too late in the day for snack because we're going to have tea. So, uh, yeah, I have to get on and make tea very soon because the boy is hungry. But first, cup of tea, baby. Do you know what I could easily do right now? This cupboard staring at me in the face right in front of me. I could quite easily. Oh, I like these biscuits. These are some of my favourites, the uh, granola chocolate biscuits. I could quite easily dip those into a cup of tea, but I'm not because I won't stop. I will not stop. Get me out of there. Mm. Guess what's happening in the kitchen this evening? Yes. Can you guess? It's not a novelty. It's not a fad, it's our new thing and it's here to stay. Nobody's got bored yet. How could you possibly get bored of such a wide variety of help on a board? Like, it's exciting every time we do it and we love it. So, Ryan is helping prepare things tonight, getting things ready on the board. We've got avocados there, they do actually need eating, so are they all right? We're just using one. Probably as well. Yeah, uh, we've got apple on the board. We've got tomatoes. Great. And then here we have got um, gizzards. Are these chicken gizzards or duck? I can't remember. I think no, they're. Chicken. Are they? Are you sure? Yeah. These are chicken gizzards, um, which we have gizzards quite a lot. I feed them to the kids. Like a great way of getting them into the kids is like chopping them up really finely and popping them in like bolognese, things like that. Just amazing nutrition just ignore my uh, utensils and things okay i'm not buying all new cookware until we're in a new home um but yeah we've got gizzards in there frying in tandoori spice yeah and then we have got some butter heating up here i'm gonna whack this heat up for these babies <laughs> look at these steaks and right cool. here two entry cups uh, marinating in avocado oil or olive oil um olive olive oil salt pepper you know the score um and yeah we'll show you when it's finished put the steaks on yeah hun yeah chuck them in as long as it's nice and hot in there well it's level eight so you'll know by the noise Oh, don't. Doesn't sound very uh, loud. Nice. I know, but don't you worry. I do it. That matters. That first. Year. I cook every night. I don't know if you know. I'll tell you something that I did purchase the other day. A um, aloe vera stem. Now I cut half of it and I've ate half of it. And let me tell you, it was <laughs> absolutely vile. <laughs> beyond belief like bitter disgusting slimy but it was more about the taste it was revolting now i did a quick google so i was like is this off or what and i think you can get like sweeter ones and bitter ones anyway i bought it and i wanted the health benefits so i just ended up like knocking it back to get it down but um, I'm not sure I can do the same with this piece. Never again. Oh gosh, guys. <laughs> so good. 
Look at this. Can I it's finally great. You can finally eat. We're going to sit down in the front room with our plates. Do you want to get the plates from the cutlery? Yeah. Good lad. Why not? I actually don't. And then we've got gizzards. We've got cheese. We've got goat's cheese. The boy loves goat's cheese, don't you? Mm -hmm. A little um, bit of pepper. We've actually got some nachos on there because we bought them randomly last week for the kids. We've got olives. Avocado. Stop it now, Get the plates out, Mum said. Cucumber, um, tomatoes, and apple. Do you know what? The apple is great with cheese. So, yeah, that's tonight's little um, board hunt. Little Amos Boosh. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Let's prop you up and have a fresh week check in. Don't worry, I am sorting the hair. I have literally been. In the shower just now after a morning gym session i went straight to the gym after i dropped nancy off at school i'm in comfy casuals today guys yeah it's actually raining outside today i have got this sweater on which was a gift from my mum or my nan i can't remember from zara um comfy black bottoms from oisho we're in color today look i'm gonna put my colorful trainers on and color in the hair why not um but fresh week and i thought i would just film a little extra today to tag on to what i filmed over the weekend because we're going to a location today called la Belen which is quite far for us. It's up in the mountains, past Nice. It's like, I want to say an hour's drive away. And Ryan has a job going on there, which is what's taking us up that way. And I'm actually filming for Ryan's channel today. So you can head over there and see. There's actually quite a bit of content for you to catch up on over there if you haven't already. If you want to see the work-life renovation projects and that interests you. Um, but yeah, I have been once before to Labellen when he went to check out this job and it's a really like little, very French, cute, tucked away village way up in the mountains and I got the most gorgeous produce from there when I went because the, like I said, there's not much there but there was this like little market slash shop and they were the best eggs I've ever tasted. We got a couple of boxes of eggs. They still had the, the hay and the mud on, like super rustic. They were the most like creamy, buttery, fresh eggs. I think they'd been collected that morning. So I'm hoping to get my hands on some of those. And yeah, just a little day out, something a little bit different. I'm so out of breath. I literally got back from the gym jumped in the shower, put my face on, and I've got about five minutes, and Ryan's gonna be saying, let's go, but I just wanted to check in. Um, my fridge is literally empty, which I find so satisfying when you actually use up everything out of your fridge. Like, it's usually food shop today, um, the beginning of the week, I'll go and do the food shop, but because we're going up there, I'm filming for Ryan's channel, so, it's just going to be a case of picking a few bits up while we're there. Last night we had the usual like platter board that we love, but I did like a roast chicken as well and just basically cleared the fridge out of everything that needed using. So we have got nothing so far tonight. I tell a lie actually, I got a few bits of meat out of the freezer. So I do have meat, but that's it. So... Might have to be carnivores, but hopefully I can pick I can pick some extra bits up on route. Um, that will do, I think. Shoes on. Ryan's coming now. Ryan's coming. Still waiting for that time of the month. Still feeling really sluggish, and everything's just much more of an effort. Oh, and you know what? We've run out of coffee as well, which is devastating because oh gosh that morning coffee is everything to me like I don't eat breakfast but my morning coffee oh, 
so I don't know, maybe we can pick one up while we're out. Ready for a little road trip to Labelen. Do you want to come? Let's go. Let's go. What you got there? Little snack. Little snack. Go have a look. Apricots, Brazils, cashews, walnuts, hazelnuts. Wow, and some sparkling water. Is that for the drive? For the road. I'm missing our coffee. I know, sorry, we don't have none. Maybe we can stop and pick one up on the way. If you're lucky. <laughs> Just passing through Villeneuve Blue Bay. All the coloured buildings. I wonder if there's a coffee shop here. <laughs> what do you think? Coffee shop. I'm not sure about that. It's parking, isn't it? I think we need to stretch it out. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to stretch it out a little. Up the mountains. It's a real trek, this is, guys. We like pass some really random, lonely houses up here, which I imagine have no internet. It's just like living <laughs> no internet off grid. Unless they've got Starlink. Well, yeah, Starlink. Which you can have anywhere. I'm exaggerating, but you know what I mean. There's just like random one houses in the middle of nowhere. They've still got four channels. <laughs> Oh, yes, sorry. I think we've missed our coffee no. shop stop. No, there'll be more, there'll be more. There is no coffee shop round here. There is. It's mountain coffee as well. It's much nicer. <laughs> Give me. Beautiful though, eh? Sweeping bends. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, we're approaching a little village. Will they have a coffee shop? Maybe. Because I don't think Lebelen will have a coffee shop. Let's see. This is a garage. Oh, what is this village? Um. Let's have a look. Whoa, whoa, you could be flying past a coffee shop right now. You know what, I work better after coffee. I'm a better filmer. Boulangerie. Over. What? What? Yeah, it was closed. Honest. Mm -hmm. what we got? What we got? How can a boulangerie be closed at this time? Plan de Var, this is called. Plan de Var. You've let me down. There'll be one, don't you worry. It's like Lord of the Rings, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, this looks promising. What can we see? I mean, surely people who look like live here like coffee too. I'm not just being a bougie diva. It's just a coffee, mate. I, that I, don't make you a bougie diva. Like demanding coffee, but I don't have breakfast and coffee means so much to me and I will work a lot better if I have coffee. Mm. You will get a better video production. Shall we go and see if we can find something? What's this village called? Look at that. What? That church just then. What know. a scene that is. I know. What a scene that is. That I know, looks like it looks like, like out of a French movie. A postcard or something, doesn't it? Looks it looks like something out of like a World War II movie, don't you think? <laughs> I love mountains. I know. I'm you not do. ashamed to say that. I love coffee. Look, fog in the everything. It's crazy, isn't it? It's stunning. Look. Absolutely stunning. Where are we? Rock I think it's called. It's a little town on the Vesu Beach. I think we found a coffee spot. Have we? Boulangerie patisserie. Oh, how cute are those little cakes? Look at those little Easter cakes. They're sweet. Oh, shall I get a cake? Don't do it. I want. 
Don't do it. I'm so weak today. Oh, don't be weak. I'll be oh. even more weak if you do it. Will you? It's all homemade though, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. I've got, I think I've got to try one. Look at the size of that bread in there. Yeah. How big? You get a cake then, I'll watch you eat it. Very nice. All the Easter bits. Watch that Whatever you want, hon. Would you get on that? Oh, I mean, I'd get a bit of everything. Um, yeah, that looks interesting. Well, yeah, that looks popular, and the locals know. So, but then I'd be in fear of making wrong decisions, so I'd probably get two. Wish came true, everyone. Gonna buy this. Le café pour moi. I don't want any. <gasps> A tradition baguette, the most important coffee. So the baguette, the two coffees, and Ryan got. Did you get two cakes in the end? One. One for seven euros. Things get like cheaper as you get up to these little hidden villages. Is it good? Hmm. Yeah. It needs some salted butter. Oh yeah, like. A slab of salted butter. Yeah, on every slice. Show us your cake then. What did you go for? Is it for now? Are you eating it now? We. Oui. Mm. It's an amandine. It's Ooh. basically a pear and almond um, tart. Nice. There was one slice of it left, so we just thought it must be good. The locals now. Get it? I don't feel like you got the detail. I don't think you showed its true beauty. Look oh, there you go. There you go. Look Ooh, at that. Oh, Lala. I'll just be extremely jealous watching you eat that. Now, I do have treat days, guys. I make the decision and have treat days, treat evenings, whatever. But the reason why I try and refrain so much is because sometimes, like if I was to get a cake now at this point in the day, the actual afterthought of having that because it would just ignite my craving so much and I would be thinking about it for the rest of the day. I would be like, oh my God, that was gorgeous. I would just want more, so much more. It's the pain of getting through the day, trying to resist more or potentially having more um, is just harder than saying no in the first place you know especially at this point in the day because it's far too early like if i have a treat it tends to be on an evening you'd be breaking your fast with a cake yeah that would be so self-destruction so wrong um whereas it's not like that for me whereas ryan doesn't have so much of an addiction with it you know he can just have one or two and then he enjoys it and then the thought's gone for me the thought lingers it's like full-on sugar addiction i just it's my utter weakness like i'm not really a drinker i can have alcohol with friends and never think about it again until the next time with friends like i go months weeks whatever between alcohol I'm obviously not a smoker, I, you know, there's so many addictions that people have, like so many, people that like anything, gambling, I lemon. think coffee you've probably got one. Maybe coffee. It's difficult to get yes. through a day without a coffee, isn't it? Yes, although I don't really have more than two a day, you know, it's just a morning thing. Um, but yeah, sugar, carbs, it's a huge... I would call it addiction for me that I've had to fight all my life. Mm, I'd say it is actually. Mm. But I've got to the point in my life now where I've just... Oh, trust me, I had some horrendous years. Really horrendous years. Um, whereas now, the percent of like my life that I'm healthy is... I would say I've overcome it. I would completely agree with that statement. Mm -hmm. Just with habits, routine, structure, discipline. Don't get me wrong, it rears its head from time to time. And like I say, I do have these moments where I just give in. But the majority of my life is controlled. 
So if you're that person too and you're just feeling like you can't beat your cravings and you've got a huge weakness, binging, all that, you can change your life and you can do it. Just buy my meal plans. And <laughs> it's been a journey for me. I have created two meal plans, like in stages of how I got to the point now. So meal plan number one, there's quite a lot of food on there because it's breakfast, lunch and dinner and includes snack options. But it's just slowly like training your mind to think about other foods that aren't going to spike cravings and just set you off down that path that you don't want to go on. And then meal plan number two brings in a little bit more discipline and structure and packed with a lot more information. Both meal plans provide shopping lists as well. And then I really want to get working on my meal plan number three, which will be the final one, which is pretty much how I live my everyday life now. Like, um, get into where I am and things that I choose and allow and yeah. Um, so if that's helpful for anybody, I'll leave it linked in the description box. Um, but now at this point in my life like I fast every day and then when I do break my fast I break it in a certain way with certain foods and habits and yeah. Definitely not cakes. Not cakes. Ryan what's your, been your like biggest addiction in life? It used to be, um, what's my biggest addiction? Uh, I used to like drinking, mm, get a taste for it. You know, I don't like it so much anymore. Yeah, Ryan used to be like, if he'd have one beer, that's it. Let's have eight. Eight? Come on, yeah, let's used be to, real. Yeah, they'd move from my eight, which is a gallon, onto spirits. spirits then. Um, whereas, <laughs> that's how I can describe me with sugar and carbs. Like It's like saying, would you give one glass of wine or one shot to an alcoholic? No, obviously. Why? What would happen? Well, that's like me. Would you give me one cake, one biscuit? No, because you know what will happen. Yeah, That's the best way I can explain it. So it's easier to avoid and cut out completely as much as possible, rather than trying to think that I can change my head and change my ways into enjoying one. Because I can't enjoy one. I can't. I can't wait to get that piece of art that's at my mum's. Mm. Do you know, for my birthday, we ordered this piece of art that I'd had my eye on for ages. It's by Peter Smith. And it's like a cartoony drawing, but <coughs> I just love it. It's so me. And the, the name of the piece of art is called Panic Room. And there's this like character stood in this cupboard surrounded by cakes and sweets. And it is so me and I had my eye on it for years and we ordered it there's only there was only like a couple of pieces left and I managed to get my hands on one and it got delivered to my mum's and I've still not actually seen it in real life but I need to get that over here because that's obviously going up when we get a property um but yeah so me panic room that is my panic room right let's rock and roll <laughs> gotta get to sight we have arrived in La Belen. Is the job? Oh, is it there? Mm hmm. I just need to get parked. I wonder if that little um, shop, the farmy shop, is open again because. It's uh, Uwe. Uh, Femi. How do you know? What's well, there? Oh no! I've been dreaming about the fresh eggs. Oh, the eggs. Oh. I was going to pick some bits up. I wonder if it opens after dinner. Maybe. Because where else would the locals go? In the middle of nowhere. Um, you know? There's an epistory there. Switching my brain into filming for Ryan's channel mode, which if you want to see that, you'll have to head over there. But we're going to go to the property now and just do full updates of the renovation so far. And I'll be back with you very shortly, hopefully with some fresh eggs. Hey. Are we ready? Okay. Welcome back, everyone, to the wonderful, beautiful, yet rainy Lavolen. Now, today I'll be showing you what the guys have been up to for the last three weeks since we started site. Well, I'm very sad, everybody, because 
none of the shops are open there's literally a tiny tiny shop that i just walked into which had shelves of tins and stuff like that and as soon as we walked in she was like firmly closed um they're closed for lunch you see and then the poissonnerie the fresh fish and the fresh uh, fruit and veg and where i got my eggs from is all closed up like not even just for lunch time it's closed that's why i could not live in the mountains <laughs> and have access to normal things um so yeah very unfortunate i've been thinking about those eggs ever since we last got them and not much to show you really because it's a very grey rainy day we did however get a successful video for ryan's channel with so many updates i've just got to get that edited um but i think i'm gonna sign off here because i'm guessing we have gone over time but thank you so much for spending this time with me i really hope you've enjoyed this one um, don't forget to leave me a comment, like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's completely free guys and it really, really helps me out. Um, but thank you so much for being here. Love you all so much and I'll see you very, very soon in my next one.